Hey there guys, got another video for you uh, today. Uh, the first one, give a shout out to uh, two guys. The first one is going to be Wild Duck 2, W A D D A C 2. Um, that's going to be Whiskey Alpha, Delta Delta, Alpha Charlie 2. Second guy is Bozen Bill. He's a man of his word, he's a good guy. Uh, his name, if you uh, search for it, if you can't read the writing or uh, can't understand me, it's Bravo, Oscar, Sierra, Nevada, Indian, Alpha, Nevada, Bravo, Indian, Lima, Lima. Um, check his uh, page out. So if you are new to lock picking and you've stumbled across this video and you want to see uh, more videos that are really good, check out these two guys. Uh, Wadok 2 and Bozen and Bill search on the YouTube search and they should come up and what this video is about I'm gonna put all this stuff in the description box so if you can't read my writing don't worry about it uh, Bill uh, worked on uh, decoding the, the date of manufacture of master lock yeah um, so this is this video is going to be about uh, master lock Manufacturing date codes or date of manufacture for master lock padlocks um, You can see here. It's January through December and uh, It corresponds with the alphabet a b c d e f g H I J K L and that corresponds with you know January February March April etc and don't worry, <clears throat> like I said, I'm going to get this up in the description box down below uh, so you don't have to pause the video or anything. But this is uh, for the month, right here. And then, this is, this corresponds right here with the year. Um, you have 0, 1 through 9. The letters that correspond to that are A through J. Yeah, and uh, just to give you an example here, uh, I got a couple locks in my collection. Uh, the first two <clears throat> are 930, not Master 930 padlocks, uh, EAI and JAI. And if you uh, correspond those with the code, they come up that they were manufactured May of 08, and the other one was manufactured October of 08. Uh, so let's take that J-A-I as an example. Uh, the first letter, J, if you come, put that out of the way, yeah. You come over here, and you look up J, it's over here, you'll see that it corresponds with October. And J-A-I, the last two letters are A-I, those are going to correspond with the year. So you look over here and uh, you see uh, hang on I messed this up totally. Where is I? There it is. Uh, you see that it corresponds with 8 and A corresponds with a 0. So that means J A I uh, the date of manufacture would be October of 08. See if I can do another one here without messing it up. I got another one here. Um, FAF. Yeah, we can do that one or we can do, uh, do the bottom one there. Uh, GAF. It's going to be July of 05. So what you do is you take the first letter and that was GAF. You find G. It's down here. Uh, for July. And then you go AF would be for the numbers. Yeah, so you get the numbers out here. A is 0, F being 5. So that lock would be manufactured then in July of 05. Alright, so like I said, I'll put all this down in the description box down below. That way you don't have to pause anything or anything like that. And uh, I'm going to move the camera so I don't get sick. The codes that are on the lock, 
Yep, we gotta move some stuff around here. Not sure if you can see that. There it is. JAI is right there. That's on the Master 930. I'm gonna move that out of the way. Come up to this one here. This is 6835. And you see HAF. I had to take a Sharpie and go in there and mark in there so you can see the letters. Uh, they're generally stamped on the bottom of uh, the lock close to the trap door. Um, I haven't decided yet. I figured out what locks have dates on them, which ones don't. You would think they all have them, but they don't. Only certain ones. Um, here's another one. That is... Oh, sorry. FAF. Yeah, it's right above the drain hole. There's a trap door right there, the keyway. I got another one hidden away here in a box. Uh, let's see, I forget what that one is. H-A-F, I believe. Very hard to see, but yeah, they're right above the drain hole on the 6835s. Back it out here so you guys can see that. The blue one, you can see really clear. H-A-F. And then the Master 930. Let's see if I can get that a little bit better. There we go, J-A-I. Uh, so that's the Master 930 right there. Uh, this is the first lock I learned how to pick uh, spool pins on. Yeah, you can see the Sharpie in the background that I used to mark everything up with. Um, so anyway, these are uh, the data manufacturer uh, codes for these locks. Um, some master locks have them, some don't. Maybe that would be the next part to the mystery. To figure out why they're on some locks and why they're not on other locks. Um, so if you have any idea about that, why that is, you can leave it down in the comments below. Um, and again, I'll post all the codes, like I said, uh, in the description box below. And also, I hate to move the camera on you guys, I'm sorry. Also, <clears throat> check out these two guys right here. Like I said, one uh, the top guy is in the UK. He's a good guy, he's got a lot of life experiences. And the second one, Bozen Bill, definitely keeps his word, delivers on what he says, which is refreshing and nice in uh, this day and age. Um, so uh, he helped uh, get all this information together. Uh, so he is the one that uh, contacted Master Lock and deciphered the code. Yeah, And I'm not sure if these codes line up with uh, American Lock. Um, I know, I think Master bought American. So I don't know if these codes line up, but I know the te technical manual manual that I have for American has these codes in it, um, or the codes for American locks, uh, but when you look at the technical manual for Master Lock, they don't have any of the uh, manufacturing date codes in that uh, manual, so I don't know what's up with that, but uh, anyway, this is part of the mystery figured out, and just keep on going. Um, like I said, uh, check out those two guys. And uh, as always, have a good one. And thank you for watching.